Even after all the years of praying, I admit I was still a little shocked to open the mail and see a Christmas card from Jim. The note that came with it was even more surprising. He wanted to know if he could bring his family and spend Christmas Eve with us. To be honest, I wasn't even sure if they were still together. Of course they were welcome. We just weren't quite sure what to expect. I couldn't help but wonder if maybe, finally, there was about to be some light at the end of the tunnel. You know, I was always taught Christmas is a story of light. When I was younger, I just assumed it meant tree lights. My grandmother used to tell me the wise men followed it, the shepherds experienced it, and we are called to walk in it. That Christmas, the work took on yet another meaning.
especially at Christmas. He told me how for the last two months he had been at least able to talk on the phone with Julie and how he had always tried to guard his relationship with Paula. Then he asked me if I realized how lucky I had been. I told him that what he didn't realize is that it's nothing to do with luck. I began to explain how years ago when I accepted the Lord into my heart, Christ had filled the loneliness that he was describing. I explained that real change takes more than just determination. It has to come from the inside out. He said he knew what I was saying was true, but he thought maybe by coming to our home, even if for only an evening, that maybe we could pretend things were like they used to be.
After dinner, everyone gathered around in the living room, and we began to reminisce. We talked about Christmases we had shared as kids. I asked Jim if he would read the Christmas story. After a slight hesitation, he said that he would really like to do that. As he began to read, his words were a little shaky and uncertain, but he grew more confident the further he read. He did okay until he got to the part that says, But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that for, will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Then he quietly set the Bible down and said, I know there is more to the story, but there is something I need to do first. As we all gathered around him and knelt in that living room to pray, I knew without a doubt that God had answered my prayer. <laughs> Oh. 